Hi everyone. Uh, so this is going to be a little tutorial on how to do this unit six, which is a uh, line of best fit. Uh, what is a line of best fit? All right, let's make a little uh, box here and let's imagine that you take a bunch of data points uh, and they make what's called a scatter plot because the dots are scattered all over. And while you can see that this goes up, um, you really are not really sure what this will look like way out here. So you need an equation to help you with that. All right. And what you do is you find an equation for something that's called the line of best fit. All right. So you figure out some line that looks pretty good for all those points through there. And then out here, you can have an estimate of what the line of best fit is. All right. So and this thing right here, this dotted line, is called the line of best fit or a linear regression, which is what this thing says over here. All right. Now, luckily, um, you have on um, Delta Math lots of tools to help you with this. All right. So let's go to linear regressions. All right. So the first thing we see is this long problem describing something that started in 1995 and we want to know the data for 2007. So it's all kinds of words in there, but all you need is these two numbers. You need the start year, which is 1995. And then we want to know the question year. So what do we want to know? We want to know 2007. All right. So how many years is that? So we take 1995. Whoops. Uh, there we go, 95, and we subtract from 2007, and we get 2, 1, so we get 12 years, all right? So we want to know what it's going to be 12 years after, all right? And we have to calculate for that. Okay, so the first thing we do is we press a couple of buttons, all right? So step one says we all these values in this table, we want to copy those. So step one, copy values. And then step two, open calculator. All right, so I'm gonna press those two buttons. Copy values and open statistics calculator. All right, now notice this is in a new window. All right, so step two. Now we paste values. So we basically just punch a bunch of buttons here. So first we hit paste values and notice that all the values show up, all right? And then we hit edit list. So we're going to put, punch that button, edit list. All right. And then we're going to press calc menu. All right. So we hit edit list and then calc menu. All right. And then on the sub menu, so this is now the sub menu. All right. We're going to find a button on there that says linear regression a x plus b all right linear regression a x plus b all right now you might notice that this a x plus b is our famous linear equation which is y equals m x plus b the only thing was that they put an a in here instead of an n okay but that's what we got. All right. And so now all we have to do is press calculate. All right. There's a lot of pressing buttons here. Calculate and we get, in this case, that A equals a negative 25 point lots of stuff. Let's see how many of those decimals we need over here. It says to the nearest tenth. All right. So that's that's a plus. We don't have to write all those numbers. So the nearest tenth in this case would be 0.3. And then we get B equals 1,000.28. So 0.28 would round to 3, right? Okay. All right. So that's those two numbers over there, the A and the B. All right. Now, I just need to put them into an equation. Y equals AX plus B. So I'm going to put the A right here. And I'm going to put the B right there. 
All right, so this says y equals, now don't forget your negative sign, negative 25.3x plus 1,000.3. Okay, so that is, you go back over here, this thing that we just got here is our regression equation. Well, the, the word regression means go backwards. So it so, so says, let's go backwards through all the data and see if we can figure something out. All right, so there we are. There's our equation. So we're going to put that in over here. Uh, y equals, this little button out of the way. Y equals a negative 25.3 plus 100. Oh, point three. Okay, now the final answer, so for what is the final answer? So what did they ask us for? Final answer. All right, now we go back up here to the top. Right here is 12 years. They want to know what it's going to be in 12 years. Okay, so our final answer is um, 12 years. And so that is our x is going to be 12, 12 years. All right, so we're going to put a 12 right here. And so we have negative 25.3 times 12 plus 1000.3. All right, now I just put that in our calculator. Uh, you can use a calculator on here. Um, I'm just going to use my phone calculator because I like it's easier for me to use. All right, so this is going to be a uh, negative. Where are we? Okay, here we go. Negative 25.3 times 12 plus 1,000.3 is equal to, so that equals 696.7. Okay, now let's look over here. This says to the nearest whole number. Notice the table is all whole numbers. So we're going to make this a whole number. So this is going to round to... So this is round, rounded to 697. We go back over here and we put in 697. We say submit answer. We check and see, ooh, look, I forgot my X. No, that would give me a no, a bad answer. No, I got to go back here and I forgot to put my X in there, all right? So now I put the X in, and now I say submit answer, and it says yes. It's thinking, does it really like my answer? And it does like my answer. Okay, all right, so the first one that you'll do will probably take a minute or so, you know, so that you understand I press all those buttons, but after that, the rest of them should go pretty quick. So, there you go.